Streaming services took over in 2020. During that year, digital entertainment reached $61.8 billion in revenue, $3 billion more than it was in 2019, and $49.8 billion more than global theatrical revenue, which only reached $12 billion. The pandemic had a huge effect on cinemas. At the start of the pandemic, the box office predicted that they would lose around $5 billion in revenue. This was because the world went into lockdown, meaning that people couldn't go to the cinemas, forcing them to close for months. This meant that several blockbuster movies such as The Batman, Black Widow and Top Gun Maverick were delayed. In some cases, studios decided to go straight to streaming, with movies such as Zack Snyder's Justice League and Mulan as examples. In 2021, cinemas were open once again, and the movies that were once delayed can now release. With movies like No Time to Die, Dune and Spider-Man No Way Home, and cinemas' global theatrical revenue reached $21.3 billion which was a $9.3 billion increase after 2020. However, streaming still dominated with digital entertainment reaching $79.1 billion. Streaming services may have taken over cinema, but how much of an impact do they have on people's lives? How often do people use them? How much do they pay? We asked members of the public for their opinion on the world of digital entertainment. What did they have to say? Let's find out. Do you use streaming services? I do. I do. Um, some? Yes, regularly. I watch Twitch sometimes. I like Moist Critical. I actually don't like I'm not big streamer. Okay. How many can you name off the top of your head? Netflix, Disney Plus, Twitch, YouTube. Uh, that's about it. Um, if I can name most of my about probably five, seven Netflix, I Disney Plus, uh, Twitch, YouTube, um, Hulu, uh, uh, BBC iPlayer, I guess could be one. Yeah. Um, I can't think of it. Amazon Prime. Yeah. And that's about. YouTube, Netflix, Disney Plus, and that's it. Oh gosh, Netflix, Amazon Prime, um, Disney, um, with 4OD, iPlayer, yeah. ITV, they're not yeah. live are they, so I suppose they're streaming. What, streaming services? Or? Yeah, streaming services. Three. And um, what are they? Um, YouTube okay. and Netflix. Does that count? Yes. Like, okay, yeah, YouTube, 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 Netflix. Counts. Twitch. Yeah, I can pretty much download those free. Um, what's the fair price would you say for a streaming service? I would personally say free, but like for finance reasons, probably around ten pounds. Uh, I think I've been quite attuned to Netflix's about uh, fifteen, ten pounds a month. But uh, Disney Plus came out of the seven pounds a month, which I think is pretty fair. Like five pound a month. Um, I mean, I have Netflix. I think that's gone up to about sixteen, seventeen, ninety-nine. Yeah. Um, but that's for four people to use it, so I can share it across family members. I can yeah. do it on my phone, all those different things. So, yeah, okay. I'd say I'm quite happy to pay that. I'd say no thing should be any more than like twenty quid. Do you know what I mean, like stuff like that. Okay. Twenty quid a month is nothing. No. It's what five pounds a week. That's nothing. No, you, do you want to pay? Do you want to pay twenty quid for YouTube? No, he said a, a, a reasonable amount. He didn't say how much. I would oh, pay. it's not a reasonable amount. It's not a reasonable amount. I'd say a reasonable amount is like eight pounds. Okay. Uh, do you prefer going to the cinema or watching streaming services? Streaming services. Why? Because you you know, you're in the comfort of your own home. You don't get bothered by people. Nowadays, I watch a lot of big movies at the cinema, but usually I will stick in and just watch Netflix instead. So, which one do you prefer? Currently, a uh, streaming service. And why? Uh, it's just easier and more affordable. Streaming services? Why? Because cinema is so overpriced. I would say I prefer going to the cinema rather than sitting at home, especially if it's a film of horror. I think they're a different experience at the end of the day. I prefer, I prefer going to the cinema, but I'm too lazy. Do you, know do you, I mean? do you want to watch like Minecraft parkour at the cinema? No, but I'll watch that on the stream. It depends what you're watching as well. We just said about me. You didn't say maybe you said, would you watch something? Yeah. Okay. okay, sorry. When was the last time you went to the cinema? Probably like last week. I think a couple months ago now to watch the last horror film. A month ago? Can't even remember. Okay. I really can't even remember. It was that long ago. Um, yeah, gosh, it must have been about three, four years ago. Oh, and last time I went to the cinema, I see Spider Man No Way Home, and before that, I can't remember. Okay. Last time I went to the cinema was two weeks ago. I watched a horror movie called Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. It was actually a little bit mid. Okay. Because <laughs> it had Pete Davidson in it, but the twist was really dumb. And when was the last time you watched something on the streaming service? Probably yesterday. <laughs> uh, this morning. Probably 
last night? Last night, whilst I was falling asleep. Okay. <laughs> Today, probably, because you like YouTube. I was watching YouTube. I, I, I use YouTube so. for my music. There you go. Okay, and uh, that's it. Oh, perfect. Yeah, yeah, last one. Cheers, guys. Nice, Thank you. Cheers, guys. Alright. Because of streaming services, the demand for physical media such as DVDs has drastically decreased, with recent figures showing that DVD sales have declined by 86% in just 12 years. Why have sales gone down so much? This is because of streaming services. People are watching movies online now and not relying on discs anymore. We also have new technology available that allows us to watch movies when we want and whatever device we want without relying on outdated tech like a DVD player. So as you can see, we have entered the world of streaming with hopes that the streaming market will be valued at 1,700 billion by 2029. Will cinemas take over streaming once again? Will streaming put the cinema out of the business? We'll have to wait and see.